but a smacks, but a smacks, but a smacks. It's the main man here. It's the double to the damn H. Before I have to hit the streets to try and um, celebrate bringing in this new so-called 2022. Yes, I'm five years, six, seven years ahead because that's how I roll. People have been asking for it, so I shall give you what you all need. This is the, and yes, I understand in the last video only one speaker was was, 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 was walking. Can't a guy, look, okay, well, we're bringing in new sound, 1080 PhD, but a few things can't go full on well. So let's talk. Team of the year. Now, people will insult me for, for this. I'm sure people will disagree with what I have to say. But um, this is what I've chosen. This is how I'm, I'm going to roll. This is what it's going to be. I sort of deliberated uh, about this for about... Because this, this has took me a long time. So I deliberated for, for about two minutes, figuring out exactly um, out of all the people this year, which should make the top 11 these are the, the cats i've chosen again it may be different from people but these are just the damn cats that i've chosen who i feel have the um snack upon the um power so this is what this is what it is sumi azumi um in goal i'm rolling with the kid did the hair that's right i'm rolling with the kid did the hair um he pretty much was the reason why United got top top four. Some of this, the saves he made were absolutely amazing. And just like when Khan was what for was for Bayern, he, where Khan pretty much won matches for Bayern, De Gea pretty much won matches for United. So without a doubt, and he's still doing it this season for United, pulling off incredible stupid saves. Back three, I'm rolling with with I'm ro I'm and basically you know what I'm I'm rolling with a three four three four formation. Based upon the people I've got to fit in running with a 3 4 3 formation. Again, this team probably won't actually win many guys, but these are just how it rolls. Back three, I'm running with Dani Alves, Chiellini, and Marcelo. Dani Alves, Barcelona won the treble, and Dani Alves was a very key component in them winning the treble, which is why he, his play and his combination with the trio in the La Liga season and in the Champions League was very, very key and very, very important in them win winning it. Chiellini. For me, was was one of the best defenders um, in the season. And again, I'm not saying Juventus would have beaten Barcelona in that final, but Kelly was a huge miss, and still one of the greatest moments this year and probably in any year was Kelly's amazing foul on Cristina, which was absolutely stupendously amazing. It was a thing of of beauty. And Marcelo, again, Marcelo benefited from the. Um, free-flowing attacking football that Ancelotti brought and I think he really blossomed and showed why he's one of the best football players in the world. Forget left back. Just on pure footballing talent, Marcelo proved why he's one of the best footballers on our planet. I'm going with a diamond-ish and I'm going with four guys. I'm going with Verratti as my deep-lying play playmaker. And I'm going with Vidal and Alexis Sanchez as my sort of central wing attacking players. Again, this is pretty much, think of Brazil 2002. This is very malleable. So guys are in central midfield and in attacking midfield. And sort of at the head of the diamond is uh, is Iniesta. But again, it's very ma malleable. And the reason why is that Verratti, his performance against Chelsea when they were a man down was exemplary and his what pretty much put him on the map. How he controlled the game when his team were a man down away from home was amazing. Vidal was crucial to Juventus get into that Champions League final. He was in Paris. He was amazing. He was the damn beast and the force in the middle. And I think he was the one that really stood out ahead of Pogba and your boy Pielo. Chess. Need I say more? Without him, Arsenal don't win a damn trophy and they go trophyless for yes another, another season. It was his first season, his debut season, and he was absolutely amazing, incredible, and capped off with an amazing um, goal in the FA Cup final. Iniesta. Guy was amazing. As in, people fully focus on the trio and what the whole trio did without Iniesta forming the conduit and the connection between midfield and attack and really being the one that really brought the trio into the game. Barcelona may not have had all of that success and cheddar. Iniesta was amazing this season. And what made it so amazing was how he evolved his game. Xavi left. People thought, oh my God, Xavi has left. Iniesta is getting older. Look at how he got pimped out at the World Cup. Is he on, on the decline? And this guy showed why he is one of the best players of his generation. I ain't putting him top five of all time, so please relax. But as far as his generation, I'm sorry. Iniesta is one of the best players of his of his generation, and he's proven in his old days. This, this boy is 
30 something, and this guy is still saying, what's up? I mean, did I say more? Messi, the cannibal, your boy Ma, a.k.a. the truth. I mean, you got the, the truth, cannibal, and, you know, Richie as my trio. They, once they got clicking, they barbecued everybody, they skewered everybody, they lubricated everybody, they reincarnated everybody. There was no stopping them. There was no answer to them. They were too strong. They were too imaginative. They were too skillful. Um, if you stopped one, another one will, will, will come upon it. It's, these guys could score goals by themselves. These guys could combine. These guys were had an amazing understanding. They were on the same wavelength. They were unstoppable. There was nothing you could stop to them. And again, it was scary what they were doing because they, it was like there was no stopping these people. There was no defense, at least of, of today's day and age. I ain't talking about Maldini, your boy Tesfaye, your boy Tsurama, and all those cats. But as far as defenders go off today, there was no stopping them. These guys were just too too damn good. And they were really the, the ones that are pretty much... That, from, that's why I went with a 3-4-3 three, three formation. Because even if... I don't think Alves and Marcelo are the greatest defenders. And I wanted to probably put in Boateng in it to make it a 4. But this kind of team will probably con con concede. But it's they're so attacking. And you've got the defensive capabilities of Verratti. And you've got the work ethic and just the thuggery of Vidal and Chess, as well as their skill. And he, but despite that, I mean, my goodness, I mean, the attacking that you have of Iniesta, Messi, the cannibal, and, the name, and um, Neymar is too strong. So that is my team of the year. Hate on me. Say what you want. Butter bing. Butter 45 smacks. Happy new crack.